On a little bit more of a global level, and I don't want to sound like a politician, just listened to, read an article yesterday from a, a um, subject matter expert that had interviewed 55 of the Fortune 100 CEOs and asked them what their single biggest concern was uh, to the profitability of their organizations, and they found out that it was communication. It was the uh, from the top down communication and from the down up communication. They found that it was very lacking. It's somewhere it's getting lost in the middle and uh, because of that it's, important, it's impossible to share the vision you want when you can't tell people what that vision is because it gets lost. What we're finding is if, you, if you're not making these service appointments you're spending more time being customer centric as a service advisor. You're able to establish better expectations with your customers. Once the customer has the expectations met by the service advisors, because it's, it's, it's again, communicating back and forth. This is what I'm going to do. Is that going to work? And I do that, then the customer naturally has a better service experience. Because of that, they're more likely to give us an opportunity. Also, just went to the dentist last week, and two things happened. Two days before the dentist appointment, I had uh, received a text message, asked me if I still planned on making the appointment, and it was a yes or no question back and forth, so that just uh, improved the communication there. They knew I was coming, and then uh, before I left the, the, uh, the dentist's office, I made my next appointment. Can we do a better job making appointments for our customers for their next one, their next service appointment? We know through our technology when a customer is most likely to have the next need for a service appointment, and we can continue to con communicate with them using the software technology that are available today.